hello and welcome everyone so in this video we are going to discuss about one of the very important tool which is very very helpful in your recon process and it is dns dumpster as everyone of us know the dns results are very very important for us to see because we see a variety of dns records like a record c name record wherein if new subdomains or new domains are published we can just get that data from those particular dns records also we can identify a lot about any particular organization or any particular target from its txt records as well wherein we can see the spf records as well as the dmark dkim records to see if the target is vulnerable to email spoofing types of attacks or not also we can see the mx records to identify which mail servers are they using for exchange of emails so we are going to use this particular software which is dns dumpster which will be helpful for dns reconnaissance research find and look up of dns records so it is a free domain research tool that helps us to discover host which are related to any particular domain finding visible host from the attacker's perspective is an important part of the security assessment process the website link is given which is dnsdumpster.com all right so once you visit on this particular website it looks something like this which is quite interesting and looks good over here you can see a see a search box in the search box you can search for the particular target let's say for instance we are going to search for hacktify.in and then you will be able to see the results onto the screen wherein on the left hand side is the hosting ip block owners as you can see ultra dns and namecheap.net at the bottom of those graph on the right hand side you can see the geo ip of host locations which is basically nothing but the geo locations where the particular target servers are located at if we move further after parsing all the records that we are going to see into the practical time we can also download the host results which are the particular domains and subdomains and all the dns records into a format of xlx which is the excel format you can use this particular format later on to identify if there are any vulnerable softwares that are running let's say there is a particular software which is running on port 80 let's say outdated apache version or on ftp there is an outdated vs ftpd configuration software which is running after some time there is a zero day exploit or a public expo exploit which comes out for that particular software version you can just go back to your excel file you can just use the filters and you can search for that particular software if it is on that particular target or not this will be very very helpful for identifying your targets as well as visually it will be more easy to filter and sort your targets also the next option is the view graph op option wherein you will get a full picture of your target which will show all the particular domains subdomains dns records protocols which are running the banner grabbing etc so this is very very helpful for us for our reconnaissance part all right so it is the practical time and let's see how we can use this particular tool so just go to your browser and type dnsdumpster.com when you will type this you will get this particular type of gui now here i'm going to type icicibank.com 
or let's say we type hdfcbank.com and hit search now it is loading the particular data and you can see the results for hdfcbank.com i will just zoom a little bit more all right so on the left hand side you can see the hosting ip block owners so the servers are hosted on cloudflare softcell as numbers hdfc bank the bank house which are their internal servers tata communications servers sukuri and amazon as well all right so we can see the ip block owners which are hosting hdfc bank servers on the right hand side you can see the particular geo locations for the hosted servers as you can see over here two servers are hosted in united states other two are also hosted in us and one server is hosted in india now if you scroll down you can see the dns server results wherein you can see this particular target which is elmo.ns.cloudflare which is basically the name server of that particular organization there is one more name server name as roxy.ns.cloudflare.com which is pointing to hdfc if you see over here you can see the amex records which is basically the email service provider that they use so they are using soft cell this is loading so let me just reload this dns dumpster and let me again search for hdfcbank.com quickly let's quickly scroll down perfect so we were here so this is the amex records which says they are using the soft cell service for sending or receiving emails which is basically hosted on tata communications isp all right if you see the txt records which will give you the center policy framework configurations from here we can identify if the target is vulnerable to email spoofing attack or not we can see over here it is a soft fail so basically the target i'm sorry it is a hard fail so basically the target is not vulnerable if there is a soft fail then the target is vulnerable to the email spoofing type of attack all right let us just scroll down and see the host records and you can see these are the particular sub domains which are being hosted it says hbchaha10 hbchadp10 relay10 and you can see more a lot of sub domains cpu18 net web01.hdfcbank.com so let us just try to open some of the sub domains randomly and let's say if we are able to see something from that particular subdomain h mobile 1 mail there is one more subdomain let's just try to open it netsafe u8 so this may be for u8 purposes they are using a demo application which is being hosted this application is hosted on cloudflare and you can see there are more a lot more subdomains so let me just go to this one as well and i'll just keep on scrolling and you can see the subdomains that they are using so test ca let's this seems interesting soa miha uh some kind of portal news feed here guys you may come across some of the subdomains which are actually the replica of the original developer domains i mean they are into still the staging environment or the uet environment chances are more that they must be poorly configured so you can easily find a security misconfiguration over there or sometimes these types of domains are not properly authenticated which gives you directly the access to the internal web applications sometime i have seen this many times i have 
got access to the internal dashboards easily. So let us see if some of the domains are able to open. So you can see v1.hdfcbank.com. Maybe this application, they are using it. It is live currently, but there is no security testing that has been done for this because most of the peoples don't visit this particular subdomains. That is, I'm assuming most of the people would visit the main domain. That is the top level domain, which is hdfc.com. Chances are more that you may try to find vulnerabilities into these types of subdomains wherein you will get more bugs. You can see one more subdomain is here, which is ownewsfade.com. All right. So you can see max cap of 100A records reached. I will just scroll down and you can see download XLS of host, which is basically the Excel file, which contains the list of all the host. So I'm just opening up the particular file and let us see how does it look like. So the Excel file has been successfully opened. Let me just zoom this. So over here, you can see this particular list wherein we are able to see the host name, the IP address, the reverse DNS that has been done, NAT block owner and the country and the HTTPS title, which is basically the fingerprint that has been done for that particular target or that particular domain or subdomain. So this gives you a beautiful output, which you can later on utilize. Also, you can use search filters over here. As you can see, we have got a list of IP addresses which are running on HDFC bank, their applications. What you can do is you can also brute force this particular IP addresses with different tools for directory brute force. And you may find out that there is some backups which have been uploaded mistakenly by the developers or you may come across a directory listings where you see dot env files dot backup files dot bak files or sometimes of sometimes keys or txt files or excel files which contains credentials or source code so this was the ip address this was the host name you can also see the host name over here you can also run a filter over there also, what you can do is you can take these particular targets and run a nmap hyphen SV scan, which we are going to see into the further videos and perform a service version detection on these targets later on and identify if they are running on any particular vulnerable service. All right, so I'm just going to close this. Let's go to the view graph. So let me just click on the view graph. And we are going to see the output, as you can see over here, into a graphical mode. This looks really very, very fancy. And let me just go to the A record. And from the A record, you can see for this particular target, you can see over here, these are all the A records which are connected. And these are being categorized. As you can see, Cloudflare is categorized over here. Soft cell AS number, which is the Tata Communications, has been categorized over here. UA.gift, get gift plus car.hdfcbank.com. This may be one of the domains which are the which they are trying uh, to host. So this is under a UA, which means basically they are they must be testing this particular domain. All right. So you can see over here, this is under Sukuri. This is under under Tata Communications and this is under their bank house. Maybe their internal servers which are running these particular IP addresses or domains. Uh, one interesting thing to notice is in this uh, COVID situation, the pandemic, there were a lot of internal applications which were exposed to the public van network for the employees as everyone was working from home so there have been new targets which are not touched by anyone so in this case you get the ip addresses and the domain names which were actually private but they were hosted on public van network so for the ease of their employees which are actually vulnerable so you can just try testing on them you may find out some of the vulnerable targets. 
so as you can see these particular targets where the yellow line is pointing to is running apache 2.4.34 so in case there is a particular vulnerability in that particular software version you can just run download the exploit and run it you can use metasploit or you can use exploit db as well i can also see they are running iis 7.0 on this merchant world.hdfcbank.com particular domain they are also using iis 8.5 the latest or the newest version from H at least the 7 which means this is running a older version and is susceptible or vulnerable to some kinds of attack you can also save this particular graph in the form of excel also you can save it in the form of png so let us choose png and let's download this particular graph in the form of png and let's see how does it looks like to us so let us allow this to download and you can see this is the particular graph the quality remains exactly the same and this can be helpful to you in a case where you want to just do a full overview or uh, o OSINT which stands for open source intelligence for that particular target to just visualize the whole network whatever is running into that particular target organization so this was the target that was bank you may also choose a very juicy target from any bug bounty platform wherein you may get a lot of such names c names a records a lot of dns records a lot of internal applications as well all right so i hope you guys understood how you can utilize dns dumpster thank you